Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I am getting back at it. I took a few weeks off of YouTube, but today we've got a lot of stuff to do. So I'm gonna be doing some DIY, some cleaning in the kitchen. Um, we are also going to be doing a clothing haul. So I can't wait to get started. We're gonna jump right into it here. Okay, first things first, as you can see, we started painting the living room. Lots of little changes going on around the house. Um, I will show you the completed wall in the next video, but Jeff was working on that and I started working on other things, so I didn't get the final result filmed, but I will show you guys in my next video. So I am working on refinishing one of our side tables here. It was looking really like chipped and damaged. Well, I got this new product in and you guys would not believe the way this table looks now. So the first step in refinishing this table was cleaning all of the dust off and then Jeff went ahead and used some sandpaper just to prep the table before we went ahead and put the base coat on. So the product that I'm using is by Dewell and it is the wood look paint. You guys, I wasn't quite sure how this was going to turn out because I've never done a project like this before, but I was so floored and I have so many more projects I want to do now. So this is the wood base. So Jeff is just mixing it up now. It comes with the stir stick. You want to make sure it is all mixed up so that way when you go and apply it to the table, there's no inconsistencies. So Jeff is just using the roller. All of this stuff that I'm using, by the way, to do the table comes with the kit. So you don't need to supply anything additional. It comes with everything that you need. So Jeff is just gonna go ahead and cover the whole table with this wood base, and then we'll go ahead and work on the next step. And I should mention to you about the sanding. You don't actually have to do any sanding before you start your project. The reason we wanted to do it is because we had some uneven spots. We had some damaged parts on the table. As you can see right there, there's like a whole wood piece that was missing. So that's why we wanted to even it out and give it a light sand. Okay, guys, it's so funny because once we were done with the wood base, we thought the table looked so fantastic just the way it was. We literally considered just keeping it like this, the color and then just the smoothness of everything. It looked so nice, but of course we wanted to finish it so we could see what the actual finished product would look like. Okay, so one thing I do want to mention is Jeff works with this kind of stuff all the time because this is his line of work. He was raving about this product. It is waterproof, it's self-leveling, it's scratch resistant, and it dries really quickly. And now Jeff is applying the wood look coat with a special glove that gives it the streaks. I guess you call it like the streaks of the grains. And it is shocking how it looked just like wood. I thought that once we painted it, it was just gonna be like not real wood looking the way it was before. But look at this, like it brings realistic wood grains to your table. So I was super surprised. It looks better than the table did originally in the first place. And this table actually had like a whole bunch of chips. We had to like pull a strip right off and then Jeff sanded it down because it was that bad in the one corner. And you can't even tell where that was now. So you are supposed to go with the grains with this glove, but we did have a couple parts of the table that the grains went in different directions. So we just chose one direction and it ended up looking really good. So once this final coat is on, you, well actually not the final coat, once the middle coat is on, it's the wood look coat, you have to let that dry. I think it's another 24 hours. And then we are ready for the final coat. This is like the varnish and it is a clear coat. It's just going to make everything look finished and clean and shiny. So Jeff is just getting ready to roll that on. 
I went ahead and opened the windows in the living room because I thought this was going to have a really strong smell, but I was pleasantly surprised there was no odor. So it's really nice because you can complete a project in your house without having to worry about getting the kids and pets out of the house. So this is the completed project, you guys. I was so floored. This table looks better than it did the day that we got it. I love it. It's got like this nice shiny finish on it so you can put whatever you want on there and then literally just wipe it without worrying about it leaving um, like marks in the wood. And now I'm seriously thinking about redoing my table and whatever else I can get my hands on here in the house. So if you guys want to check out the Dwill paints, go to my description box down below and I will have the link there and a coupon code for you. All right guys, so I am going to start in my disastrous kitchen. We just had some shepherd's pie and I've got a gigantic mess going on here. We've been busy like crazy for the past, I don't even know how many weeks. So we are running in and out all the time. So we had dinner, um, the boys are gone to hockey practice. So I'm just gonna go ahead and clean up the kitchen. I got everything off of the island. I'm gonna wipe it down and then I'm going to go ahead and tackle the leftover food and the dishes that need to be done. And I wanted to mention one of the reasons I was MIA for a little while is I was finishing writing my book. I put together a guidebook for those of you who are interested in starting your own YouTube channel. I know I've been asked so many times in the past, so I finally put together everything I've learned in the past six years all into one 14 day guide from start to finish, from picking your niche to getting your channel up and running and getting sponsors and all that good stuff. So for those of you who've been asking, check out my description box down below. I will have the link for you there. So I picked up this roll of a plastic wrap, literally, I kid you not, probably 12 years ago, and there is still a ton left on there. I think I've mentioned this in one of my previous videos, but I picked it up at our local wholesale club and it was definitely worth it because I still have a few years left in that thing, that's for sure. And as for finishing the kitchen, um, I did talk to our cabinet maker the other day. He is supposed to be coming next week, he said, to finish our kick plates. As you can see, they are still unfinished down below. And then we still have some floating shelves that need to be hung up. And then once those things are done, we just have to put up our backsplash. And I think that'll be it for the kitchen. Oh, oh yeah, and then we have one light above the kitchen sink that's still missing. We need to put that in. Um, and then we need to put our plate covers on a couple of our electrical outlets along the bottom of the windows there. And then I think that is it. But um, I do have to add some decor and stuff like that in here. Things are slowly starting to happen, but honestly, this has been like the longest house build ever. But that's what happens when you try to do basically almost all of it all by yourself. So, okay. One of the other reasons that, that I've been kind of MIA the past couple of months is because you guys know one of my sons played hockey out of town this year. Well, we were going out of town like so many times to watch his games. He was going to school and hockey. It was only about three, three and a half hours away. So it's kind of good and bad because it's close enough where you don't want to miss his games because you could literally drive there in the morning, but um, it's far enough that it kind of eats up your day. So that was a big time eater for me this year. Um, his season is over. He played Minnesota high school hockey. It's super fun and exciting and it gets really addicting and you really don't want to miss any games. So it was a challenge for us to juggle hockey with the house and everything but things are slowing down a little bit but still not enough we're still quite busy
So this pan, I might have mentioned it before, but it is one of my favorite pans. It works so good, but it looks awful. I've tried everything to clean it. You guys have given me some tips and tricks. I've tried pretty much everything. I think that's just the way it is. It was the Caraway Cream colored pan set. So the pots, they are not discolored. And I think that's because I basically only use like water with them or I use it to like heat up soup and whatnot. But when you're talking about frying pans, you're adding grease and that grease just like discolors the pan. And I did not follow the rules of the pans because it came with specific instructions and I would use it on high heat and I would use cooking spray and those are the things that it literally said not to do. So my fault, but it still really works well. So one lesson I learned with my blinds over here is that if I'm washing dishes, I should pull them up a little bit because there's a lot of spraying going on around here. So I got something on the blinds. I tried to wipe it, but it ended up leaving a little bit of a watermark. So these blinds actually pop off nice and easily. So in the springtime or summer, I might just pull the whole thing off and give it a wash in the bathtub and that should do the trick. All right guys, now that I'm done in the kitchen for the night, I was just coming upstairs. This is all clean laundry on my bed. <laughs> so I have a lot of laundry to fold. Anyways, I have a few new items I got from my Shein order. I ordered from them a couple of times and I've always found really cute items. I picked up these little like slipper shoes. I wore these to the rink the other day. They were so warm. And then I also got this drop shoulder sweatshirt. It is so cute. I've been obsessed with sweats lately and I love how it's got the high collar with the quarter zip. Another favorite of mine that I've worn quite a few times already. This is the striped pattern drop shoulder sweater. I love the neutral color. It's like a nude pinkish color. It looks super cute with my white sweatpants and I've tried it with my black leggings, but like I said, I've been like so obsessed with my sweatpants lately. It's just so comfortable and because it's a little bit cropped, it just gives it a cute and stylish look. I literally wore this outfit to the rink the other day and the loafers are so cute. All of these things will be linked down below for you guys just in case you are wanting to check out my comfy outfit. I'm going to keep going with the comfy theme here. I've got these adorable fluffy pants with hearts all over them. So these ones I ordered like right before Valentine's Day. I thought they would be so cute and I was planning on getting this video up like way before so I could show this to you guys. But these are super cute for any time of year. And then I also got this PJ set. I love the ruffled sleeves and the ruffled ankles. I chose this green color because I thought it would be really cute for spring. So it's called the Ruffle Trim Pocket Patched PJ Set. And then this next set I absolutely love because if you are hanging around the house but you don't want to be in your pajamas, this looks so nice. It's a put together set so you can be doing like cooking or whatever around the house but still look really cute and put together. So this is the drop shoulder button front tee and pants lounge set. I am obsessed with the drop shoulders lately you guys. I just think it is so cute. So that's it for my Shein order. I do have a 15% off coupon for you guys. It will be down below in the description box. But that is it for today's video. I know it's a little bit shorter than usual, but I am just trying to get back into this. I do have a whole bunch more footage filmed, so I'm going to be editing another video later this week. So do make sure you guys are subscribed so you guys don't miss any of my future videos. And I will see you guys next time in the next video. Bye! I'm thinking about him all the time I'm thinking about him